Welcome back to the podcast. I am yo <laughs> host, Mr. Made Over. And I am his lovely co host, Mrs. Made Over. Like, well, like, boys in pain right about now. I know, honey. Yeah, so, but we still gonna push through. We're gonna do what we gotta mm-hmm. do, you know. Um, You're being a trooper right now. Yeah, well, or know, you have right? been a trooper for like this last week. Yeah. You're pushing through. I'm proud you of you. You got a few more, what, a few more days? Yeah, a few more days. But. God is good. To God be the glory. All the glory. Like I always say, man, I'm, I'm never worried. Um, I always feel, well, I know I'm in God's hands, so that's not really a, a, a question or a uh, concern for me. But I am in pain, though. Mm-hmm. With pain is, I gotta take some more. Yeah. Bit. But nevertheless, keep your boy in prayer. Uh, got a uh, what a procedure coming up. Yeah. Pretty soon. Um, keep a brother lifted up. An unexpected procedure that is. Know, too. Some stuff. <laughs> Never planned this, but this is how life is for you anyway. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like when I talk about change. <laughs> And, and handling change and dealing with change because I am the yeah I think everything we've talked about in the podcast <laughs> like we are now like right now in this moment we are entering 2021 as a couple who now we are like yeah. <laughs> we gotta practice everything that we have preached you know yeah. to our listeners whether YouTube or you know our podcast uh, yeah. listeners as well so or our viewers and our listeners so but like I always say I mean if it if it doesn't kill me I don't trust I'm coming back stronger yeah you know um what's the what's the what's the trial without a test mm-hmm. but but I just want to say to you and I, I said this I said this to you personally but I really want to say it um to you pub- said publicly to you um, because I have mentioned how unconventional you are. Um, and in this, I'll say this week time frame, um, your, your unconventional ways have showed because most men, when something is wrong, it's like a, they want to stop and most, well, I've heard most men stop and they want to shut down, but sure. you have done that at, you have, you always do the opposite. I'll say that you always do the opposite. And that's another reason why, um, I look at you as being unconventional because you don't whine or cry. Like you don't, you, you still do for yourself. You still hold it down. You still do whatever it is that you've been called to do all the while, um, exhibiting the biggest faith possible, um, which in turn fuels my faith. Hmm. So it keeps me from being at a level of anxiety or worrying how I would normally do. Huh? Not worrying too much. Too much, yeah. Like I said, like I would normally be. Like I would normally be scatterbrained, crying, upset, worrying, ramaging my brain. But instead, um, I've used your strength through this um, and your your willingness to push through um, to like do research and try to educate not only myself, but educate you in the process as we try to, you know, navigate through this thing. Mm -hmm. So it's really your faith has helped me, um, you know, to, to really see my growth in this area. So I definitely thank you for still holding down the fort as husband and dad and homeschool teacher (laughs) Um, and all the other hats that you wear. So I wanted to publicly let you know that, um, you know, as the man of God you are, I can definitely see him giving you the strength that you need to be able to still do what duty calls. Well, I mean, I think think it's number one, to God be the glory. Because I think we was having a conversation yesterday. I just Mm -hmm. said, you know, like nothing... (laughs) <laughs> Nothing is ever easy. No, it's not. Me. It's always like a hundred percent. That's why I'm always a hundred percent in everything that I do. But 
I always say I'm built for this type mm-hmm. of stuff. Like most people, like 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 you said, they would you know internalize it. Mm-hmm. They were like, man, we, I can't shoot. They they they'll, <laughs> they'll do a different type of podcast. Yeah, we're gonna take. A hiatus we're do a hi- about a subject Yeah, because like. and it was funny because you asked to do one last night and I was like, but it, like I, I was ready to crash early. Um but I, I had to listen to my body last night because I knew I wouldn't have given anything. But it was, it was like you were still ready to shoot. And that's why I said I know it's a it's a different type of strength, it's a different type of motivation and push that you have that I mean, I'm gonna say that most men that I have not experienced with most men. Oh, you ain't had it. You, you I ain't, ain't never had it. I ain't you. never had you. Like, so, you know, <laughs> kind of thorough. It's like, okay. All right. We can work with this. All right. Clyde, you know. Shabby. Yeah. Clyde's their horse, strutting through the thing. Uh. <laughs> but it's a, uh, once you've seen what's possible, like, yeah. um, vision show you, like, like, that's why I think a lot of people, don't finish the race because they lose sight of their vision. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy. Michael Todd was just my vision this this uh, last Sunday. He was talking about that. Mm-hmm. But the vision that was shown to me, like I gotta re, I, like I have to reach the end. Like like either it's shown to me to the point where it's like, okay, this is what happened, with or without you. Right. This is what it is. But I gotta run this race. Like I, I mean, I, I, while it's breath in my body, right. while it's um, energy, mm-hmm. although being in pain and, and, and you know, just experiencing a lot as far as body wise, you know, like yeah. not being able to do certain things, like without having to sit down and chill out and relax. Yeah. But. And I think this is probably the most relaxing that you <laughs> you done, like to like just chill yeah and it's a pain yeah because you know? it's not you you normally are moving and so that's different for me but it just it i just step up in whatever capacity that you need me to do and that's just been my prayer through the whole thing is that i just step up in my role know your role women know your role when your man is down shut your mouth, <laughs> shut your mouth. no <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna get you for that again <laughs> Um, know your role, do your job, and make sure, like, when your spouse is down, really know your role and know where you need to step in and and step up. And that's and, what and I'll be joking when I say, <laughs> Yeah, he has never. <laughs> I've never told my wife to know her role and shut her mouth. <laughs> I promise you, <laughs> like, it's not me. And I laugh, y'all, because that's just the relationship that we have. Like, we can crack just like that, and I get it. Like, isn't, yeah, no. But no. it's crazy. The Rock gets to say it all the time. How, how he does, gets a fat check for it. Babe, how does he say it? He do it, please. I can't. I'm in pain. <laughs> okay. Hold on to some sanity. All right. Okay, okay, okay. But, but. Wanna, we do, I do want to <laughs> say um, thanks to everybody in, 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 in I probably do this every time I get on here because we do. We sometimes I, I go back and I look at different things like um, the podcast and see who's listening. A lot of times I don't expect to get any type of downloads. Yeah. That's just me. There's no because I don't do this for downloads. I don't mm-hmm. do this for um, numbers and numbers ratings. or anything yeah. like that. I'm just a, a, a servant leader mm-hmm. who gives his his take and his point and what the Holy Ghost gives to me right. I give to y'all because I know a lot of people who were in the same thing that I was in mm-hmm. who are trying to get out but don't know how to get out Right. so I'll be the perfect window or perfect door yeah. or and it's been door. I think it's been a great platform for both of us because we are able to share exactly what we've gone through to let people know no matter what age they are um that it's somebody out there that has experienced the same thing but at the same time we are here to support so we have um that's one of the things that i can definitely say too is that 
we are using this platform just to encourage and inspire and to say, you know, we made the foolish mistake, so don't you do it. <laughs> learn from learn from our foolish mistakes. Cause yeah. Yeah. Um because I mean nobody nobody's perfect in this thing. No. That's why I want people to understand, like you're not perfect, but the failure is not trying to do better. Right. Especially when you know. They say no better, do better. But mm -hmm. if you know and you're still doing the same thing over and over, looking for a different insanity. type of um, result, mm -hmm. and it's insanity. It is. So, and and I appreciate all the love. I mean, yeah. It's just like yeah, we're getting a lot. We're getting a lot of love, and then um, I know from my side in the profession that I'm in. Um, I was I'm very well we're kind of very cautious either way with how we um, talk about subjects and talk about what I do um, but I am an educator and then I find that like I found today that one of the women that I didn't know that was clicking and listening is listening and she was telling her her staff like hey y'all need to listen because they funny and you would be and then she was like oh. you'd be like they say they Christian I was like yeah I said it's good wholesome clean cut fun we cut up so yeah. um just said, all he, Christians ain't corny first of all <laughs> I'm gonna we, start taking it as a disrespect that's what I'm gonna start taking it as I'm pretty so, hilarious as a believer so as you know as believers we do we we have a good time and what you uh. what you hear or what you see um those of you that are youtubers or those are that that are you know those of you that are driving or sitting in your office chair and listening to us um we what you see is really what you get i mean he's way funnier than i am every now and then i can slide something in you know uh, i'm hilarious Man, what, why you gotta go like a step like you it's can't like, you just like, be it's funny like you gotta call uh, it you gotta go as call it a spade a spade call a spade a spade you know what i'm saying i'm pretty hilarious. Man, you don't even know about spades but i know what to call <laughs> one though people yeah. always trying to bring up your downfall <laughs> First of all, let, let's let's just let, let's. Let, <laughs> You're let's not break even a down. space player. Why though? Cause my mom and my church said that playing cards was a sin. I never picked up a cards, so <laughs> I never learned. Man, did you even play Uno? No, hold up, don't start cussing. Uno is my stuff. I'll make somebody draw eight if it's two people. I cannot. But you miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was a protected child, but not. But you shot dice. Child. Yeah, that, I mean, I was in, I was in high school then. <laughs> but you could have played, okay. Nah. You could have played Space then. Nah. You, nah, nah. Did you, you play you Dominoes? Know like, Did I you play to, Dominoes? I went to a Christian school. But you shot dice. I was in public school. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Like from dang near first grade to. Eighth grade Christian school. <laughs> Y'all didn't get to public and school. And then get to public school, ninth <laughs> grade. He shooting dice, but then learn how to play space. Wild you, skipped, you skipped the space and went straight to the hustling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, they, sorry, y'all. They, they, they say the uh what a PK kid. You PK or, kids. Or, or the, <laughs> uh uh. I think the the believers those who, who really supposed to be called to do something usually go straight to the left and lose our heads for the most part y'all know who i'm talking to those <laughs> who are really supposed to be doing this thing and you're running from it that's what Hilarious. i was like that's why i got into a lot of stuff because you did you got into a lot that was like and i'm pretty sure you saying both before you saying both <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been running oh lord like, you a mess yeah. you funny like I mean you funny sorry mama <laughs> <laughs> mama hey so like mommy he ain't stay on that front porch for long <laughs> I'll tell you. he's stay on the front porch for and, long and you know one of these that I might take y'all down that path you ain't done nothing don't get me wrong it's a, it's a dark and lonely road but alright that's that's the path that built me now right that's why I'm able to stomach a lot you know grit and bear a lot i think things we go through is either to build you up mm -hmm. or it's to kill you mm -hmm. and, and we talked about yeah 
But I say it built me. Yeah. It built me. And we talked about that last year. We can say last year. Can you believe that? Oh, oh my gosh. Good. But we talked about <laughs> we talked about that the that last year. Um and just the who am I? Yeah. Um and so I think it would be good to to share your side of like who are you, Mr. Mo? <laughs> Some things. <laughs> Y'all, I don't even know everything. I find out like, I'm like, you did? Oh, okay. So, mm, it'd be interesting because, yeah, you shielded me from some parts of your life. It's important. <laughs> I'm like, you did what? Like, it's, like, it's important. And, you know, eventually, I, 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 because, you know, me and this only child live <laughs> two different lives. <laughs> like, like two Daddy, different lives. Tommy, you see how he talking about me? Like, two different <laughs> lives. Two separate <laughs> lives. And a lot of times, things in my past, mm -hmm. like, I don't talk about because I'm not really proud of this. Like, yeah. I think a lot of times to talk about it is to boast in it. But a lot mm -hmm. of times, I, I, I do use them as a teaching method. Right. Like some kid or she has some kid call me. Mm-hmm. He's <laughs> like, babe, talk to him about talk this. Talk to him. Tell him. Teach him. And, and I, I tell gotta, him. I got to talk to yep. the kid. Like, listen, you do, you do not yeah. know what you're trying to get yourself into. Right. You do not know what you're saying. And it helps. Um, I can definitely say that. And I think that's the part that I miss so much about the post-COVID you know, a pre-COVID, sorry, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID is you being able to come in the classroom and actually like talk with the kids and let them see you and interact with them because that was that was a pivotal role when I started teaching, you being able to come in and the kids actually gravitated to that because they needed to see a positive male figure and hear of the things. So they would be surprised, like he did what? What you said? Yes, yes, yes. He did all that. Mm -hmm. I think he, even the teachers. Yeah, even the teachers and the staff. They, he did. Yeah, he did all that. Mm -hmm. That's so it it pass. does it helps. Um, and so still today, if it's a kid that is, I sense that there's something. Mm, they tread in that line where I know he's been. It's like, babe, I need you to. I need. Can you impart in them? And I don't get no check. No check. He does not. I bring. I bring it to him. I pay him. You know. Here you go, babe. A little. But candy bar. But I mean. <laughs> no, nah, you get more. You get my love. I love. I mean, I love kids. I love the youth. And a lot of times, the, the kids that that I do talk to. Mm -hmm. Kids who was just like me, mm -hmm. curious, yeah, or don't have nobody that they can lean on, talk to, yeah. It's always something missing. Like they always feel like the outcast, yeah, and they want to prove to themselves that hey, I can be a part. Mm -hmm. To me, and I always say, don't go with the crowd. Make the crowd. Make the crowd come to you. Yeah, and it helps. It helps because it's a lack. It's a lack of positive role models in the field of education anyway and so sometimes when you step in it like I said it helps and you can see that I can see the difference in that child and then I can just say hey your choice is I can call Mr. Mo or I can call your daddy but which one crazy and like, no man is he no is he no 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 all right so then what you gonna do all right and I'll get him on the phone. Bay, let me, Mr. Mo, would you busy? <laughs> so that, well, but that's I'm just the risk. Yeah, he, wow, he's in <laughs> virtual school. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing that um, I think when it comes down to the platform, this platform and being able to reach out, this is a way that people can interact with us because my students don't see you face to face. Well, they have if I put you on video, but that's where in between. So they usually just hear the voice. So talking to them like this and pushing, hey y'all get on because he games or get on because he's live, that has encouraged a lot of them. And a lot of them actually get on and watch the podcast a lot of them you know their parents have watched so this is that thing where 
they see me every day but then this is another way where they can actually connect and see like oh wait mr mo's been there and has done that as well so my teachers are podcast yeah and my teacher's a podcaster YouTuber yeah and so i'm the cool teacher right now what's up thanks kids thank you kids thank you but so what's 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 in store up on the podcast for 2021 um, that's a lot, y'all. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> like, what are we doing? I'm gonna need an editor. Yeah. Volunteer one. Yeah, right now. <laughs> I'm just volunteer right now. Your service. Tell you right now. Not right now, maybe but later soon. On down the line. Yes. I can break you all some ducats. As I said, when I blow you. up, you blow up. Yeah. But um, as you, I, I, I don't know. If, well, I don't think I, I've heard you guys have seen. We got the family stuff mm-hmm. that are in the playlist right about now. Made over family. Which is the made over family <laughs> because Mr. Made Over has great perks. Um, the Made Over channel has great yeah. perks. Great perks. Um, and then we struck out into the foodie. We did. <laughs> Cause we love food. We love food, y'all. Love food. I love food. I so, do. I love food more than you. I doubt it. You sure? I'm positive. I don't think but so. But we should find out. I try new things. You, I try things before you will. What? Babe, don't even. Don't try it. Babe, you're always hesitant. Like, don't. Man. Look, look, this is where I have to pull out stuff. Like. If you go down in this <laughs> channel right here, you will see tons of food reviews. No, 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 no. Time out. Tons. That, but why? 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 What do you mean why? Because I like food. No, because you were doing that while I was at work. So you can't even do that. They're, they're that was an unfair. No, that I was an unfair. time for food. That was an unfair. <laughs> that was an unfair I, I advantage. Chilling, like, no, that was pre-COVID. That was pre-COVID. Why, why do people keep picking on COVID? Because <laughs> COVID is cutting... COVID, is, is this going to be the, the... COVID is still cutting the monkey. <laughs> COVID ain't cutting the monkey. People cutting the monkey. <laughs> that, that's that's cutting like, the monkey. People are cutting the monkey and COVID. COVID is punishing. No, COVID doing what COVID Well, that's true, do. too. But that's still the punishment. That's a consequence. <laughs> You, people you kind of my get, head, COVID. Like, like this, this is what I don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to back off COVID. Oh, God. COVID got a job to do. And right? COVID is doing its job. And we got a job to do. We do. Obviously, everybody's everybody not, not doing COVID. it. <laughs> so this All y'all Alabama fans, thousands of people holding up together. Ohio, too. They, oh, no, they were together like that, too? I'm sure they were. Jeez. I'm sure before the Maskless. game or while the game was going on. Maskless. Some, you know, but we're not here. We're not. We're not talking about COVID. Nothing is easier from COVID. Yeah. COVID's doing what it's supposed to do. We got the, the rules. But no, I mean, like, before. Do. Yeah. But I'm just, just saying, I said pre-COVID because. Just stop picking on, on, on the COVID. Okay. Before we was in quarantine. That's still COVID. Well, then what do you want me to say? Just say a few years ago. Once upon a time, not long ago, before COVID hit the road and everybody had to close the door. (laughs) Close the door. Gosh. Okay. So there were a time before where you were able to go and try the food. Like you would go before you had to get the girls and then you would do the food while you're waiting in, in the line while I'm at work. So that's an unfair advantage. You can't say that you love food more than me because you have more food reviews on the channel. Like that's unfair. Well, if we're going off evidence. Oh, man. If we're going off evidence, clearly I win by a landslide. Moving right along. So, yes, they're going to be, we're doing food reviews on the channel along with. Um, who's there? Who's there where? You want we, right? Yeah. Go ahead. What did I say? They're going to be doing. Oh. <laughs> no, there, there are going to be food reviews. All right. 
thing even more. And so we'll be trying out, uh, we've already started. Um, we did ginger, what? We did ginger macaroons. And then he won't let me go back. She got new flavors out. And I just want to eat the new flavors. Um, she got, we got ginger macaroons. We've done ginger macaroons. We did the uh, Dunkin' Donuts. We did Dunkin' Donuts. That's all we've done. That's all we've done. We got one coming up Friday. Do we? Yeah, we do. I'm planning that one, so I'm trying to make sure I get out there. So you're just gonna have to come home. We got one coming up Friday. <laughs> got one coming up Friday, and um, yeah, and that'll be a surprise. This is one that I've been. I, this is another one where uh, he didn't know about, but I've been planning to, to make my parents to try to go get us something to eat from there. Um, yeah. But we're foodies now. We're foodies. And uh. <laughs> And what, what's the hashtag that we are? Hashtag C Town Foodies. Somewhere right here. Somewhere down there. Yeah. And this is in conjunction with Columbus Georgia Eat. So we're yeah. going to be taking a lot of his recommendations. And um, I'm looking to do a collab with him. Yeah. We're trying uh, to, yeah. Uh, on one of uh, these, uh, well, quite a few of them. Yeah. If any other foodies, too, uh, let us know. I think there's Lexi. Lexi loves food. I think is Lexi out there. Lexi loves food too. Um, is another one that is very into everything, and I I communicate with her. Um, but I think for us, we're gonna do local, and we're gonna do yeah. And Columbus Georgia Eats definitely does. Well, all of them actually. The foodies that we have, and there's um. Like I don't see them doing like you know like like franchises. No. They do a lot of, well, yeah, they do a lot of local, um, and we call it where we live, the valley. So they do Columbus, Auburn, mm -hmm. um, some of those local places. Um, Which is good to and shine then Columbus, light on yeah, those type of businesses because I, I know they probably definitely need yeah. That. And Columbus, Georgia, eats when they travel. They have done out of the country places too. Um, as far as food so we um, will make sure that we expand and whenever this thing lifts and we can travel we definitely will be doing um, and, 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 and spots. if it doesn't and if it doesn't travel y'all see we'll just be careful yeah well I mean and as soon as everything's good go but we love food y'all so that's why we're foodies that's why we're foodies and our saying is for the love of food <gasps> for the love of food um <laughs> what else we got um, is that it? That's not it. Mm -mm. What else we got? Man? Something else. Oh yeah, we expanded our podcast. <gasps> yeah. To different platforms. Yes. I believe we're. Um, I think we're on um, a lot of a lot of platforms right about now. We're on Podbean. Yes, yeah, sure. What type of stuff? Come on, I'm holding it for you. We're on Podbean, uh, Google Podcasts, mm -hmm. we're on Spotify, mm -hmm. we're on iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Pandora, TuneIn, Amazon mm -hmm. Music, Audible. Is that how you say that? Yeah, Audible. All right. Audible. Player FM, Listen Note. Stitcher. I said Stitcher twice. That's yeah, twice you did. Thing. Podcast, podcast addict, addict, and then we got Deezer, and, and then Deezer. we got some other podcast things that we're just waiting for them to um, get back with me and follow through. Mm -hmm. But how many we're looking at? 20? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So you have fourteen ways. <clears throat> excuse me, fourteen ways to listen to us. So there um, should be no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to, you and if you have a hands-free stand in your car and you want to just see the shenanigans in person, what happens in the, in this in the multi-purpose room, the at-home studio? Um, you're able to see our shenanigans, of course, on our YouTube channel, and that is at Mr. Made Over. Um, and then you can also follow us um, at uh, Mr. Made Over on IG. So that's just some different places that you can follow us. Um, I've been thinking, honey, about um, actually 19. 
19? It's going to be in 19 spots. Which one did I miss? Oh, it's, oh once you added the other yeah. ones too? Okay. Once, once, once everything go through with this, I'm going to have no trouble with it. Okay. So I'm it'll be a total of nine. I'm not going to It'll be a total of 19 ways to listen to us um, as you move about and travel. 20 if you count, um, if you want to listen to us by YouTube. Because yeah. um, you can always. actually, you can always play it um, in the car from your cell phone. Because we do it. For visual people. Yeah, for the visual me. people. Um, so, yeah, like we are, and like I said, we are like, we've both been saying, we're not doing this <clears throat> for, I know. It's getting emotional. I'm not getting <laughs> What you trying to say? Try to laugh my pain off. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, so as we've been saying is we're not doing this for the likes. We're not doing this for the subs. We're not doing this. It's, it's not the average content person's reasoning behind doing um, doing the YouTubing and things like that and creating content. Our thing is we know that there are a lot of things that we have experienced um individually growing up um and as young adults and then we know that there's a lot of things that uh, a lot of things that couples or and parents deal with so we wanted to um create a platform where um people of all ages especially family units can see the dynamics and hear um some solutions to what you can do yeah, to um madness. Right. To, to help to navigate through um, what is our new normal, because things are, I mean, not letting go. But then at the same time, we want to bring family entertainment. So you will also see, oh, gaming. Um, yeah. So you have gaming and then um, the made over sisters. <laughs> They've been gaming. Your kids, oh, man. What are you talking about? Oh my God! How can you? Oh yeah, my and my boys <laughs> be uh, yeah be in on the uh, game. Yeah, game. and so um, our yeah, our boys. So we will have a lot of gaming. So um, I guess I don't know what they're gonna call them. They're gonna be made of brothers. Made over family. Okay, so all made over family, but the made over sisters they do do their debut because that's what you had labeled. Yeah, they're waiting for their part three. That yeah, well, I was. Who's keeping I was, track? They are because they told me today. They they told me that they're ready for part three. So I don't know when daddy's gonna give them their part three. We can pro let's do it Monday because we're out of school Monday. We're out of school. We are. When does happen? Um, is MLK Day on Monday? <laughs> Gosh, so we're out of school, honey. You get me if you get a three day weekend with me this weekend. Um, so listen, oh, yeah, we also have a few guests coming on. I know y'all yes. heard us talk about it last week, but we have a few guests coming on, yes, and yes. also this Thursday is going to be a special one. Oh, what does I know about this? This Thursday will be a special um, podcast. You will not be hearing from us, but you will be hearing from another person who um, I'm not going to give too much, but um, I decided that this was so special when I heard it that I wanted to put them in instead of us. So Thursday, next Thursday, not this one is dropping. Not, not tomorrow. Not this one. Not this Not one. this one, but this the one. Next, next one. Next one will be one entitled um, "Where Is Katie Jones?" Ooh. So um, that I mean, I, after I heard the story and Ooh. I said to me, to myself like, "This is something the essence that has been missing from society and from the world nowadays," mm. but. I no, think. I didn't. You got that's that's a shocker. We gotta. No, but we trying to make move. And this, this, like I said, for me, this platform is not just for me. It's not just mm -hmm. for my beautiful wife. They're like it, it's it's for those who have yeah a message. Yeah, you know, like I didn't build this plat. I I, I wasn't given or or mm -hmm. built this platform just for. Right. Because I know I'm not the only one that's made over in this thing. Right. That's my thing. You know, like a lot of people can't 
you know afford podcast type stuff and a lot of people don't have the knowledge to do it right the way they need to do it so so if i can be the conduit look at you big know, words i've been reading uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if i can be the conduit for great things to come up out of here mm-hmm. then, you know i've done my job right but uh, that's like I said, like I said, that is coming up next. I think then after that we will have a uh, a guest on there. I think we we yeah, we, we, about we technically it. have um, we'll have the one then next week, and then mm-hmm. we have we should have two lined up. We just got to get the date for yeah the I other one. All about Mariah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have Mariah, Mariah Carey on the <laughs> podcast. Uh, when I first seen Mariah, I said, I have to figure out what happened between her and Nick Cannon. Uh, how are the babies? Oh my you God, know? I cannot deal. I can't um, deal. <laughs> <laughs> she knows who she is. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah. But it I is can't. going to be. A awesome 2021 yeah. um just looking forward to better things mm-hmm. and if you're willing guys to share um or would love to um be featured on one of our podcasts feel free to uh dm us on um ig at mr made over mm-hmm. um and one of us will respond so um I'm, I'm going to start tagging. So if I respond, I'll start putting Mrs. Mo on there. And then that way you can know who exactly who you're talking to. Well, I don't think it matters, you know. It, sometimes it does. Somebody. But you're going to read somebody. But that just lets you know who you're referring to. Um, because sometimes he checks, sometimes I check. Um, that way we know who is putting hands on, on what. And it just makes it easier. easier. So... But if you're wanting to do that, if you want um, to be a guest, like like on 2021, sure is, you know, make sure it's substance. But we will make sure we do a meet and greet first, and um, way back so check on that's you. what we do first. If you're interested, yeah. um, and just being a guest um, on 2020 and in 2021, while we're you know, and sure. if you're listening and watching this, yes, and if you would like to be a Patreon, I'm thinking about starting oh, up a Patreon. Yeah. And if you are, let me know. Yeah. I think I'm just going to start it. And for those who want to come aboard to support you can. this whole cause, you know, you can. Like, yeah. You guys have been very, very, very awesome in what you've done mm-hmm. so far. And plus, we got some new merch coming up. So merch! Too. I know. Oh, the kids are going to be excited, Man, y'all. Man, we got <laughs> some... Yeah. Some crazy merch They're coming gonna be down excited. the pipeline. Yeah. Ladies, kids, children. They're going to be excited. This, like, I mean. Because everybody love merch. Everybody love merch. Everybody love merch. But um, what else? We got anything else? No, I think that's it, honey. Well, that concludes this Hurt um, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this painful podcast. Oh. Uh, Thank you guys for supporting us. I was about to say all these years. All these years. <laughs> it feels like a really long time. That because it I mean it <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Just take your meds, man. Go to bed. It's a wrap, y'all. 2021. We definitely thank you guys for entering this year with us on uh Mr. Made Over Podcast. It's made over podcast. Huh? Made over po- Man, Made over podcast. And like we always say around about this time, keep God first, because I gotta edit this and get it out. And the rest. Now you're gonna have to cut all that out. We'll be, be at, at it. it. And we out. <laughs>